Today is going to be a bit of a social archive, uh, so memories and uh, sad and happy, because uh, uh, that's the way memories are. So, the sad. Uh, so, 45 years ago today, my infant son Elliot died, and ordinarily I'm really, really sad and low and all of that. Today, not so much, and I think it's because two or three things have happened. Uh, number one, it looks like Donald Trump really is going to lose the presidency. Uh, the Democrats in America have already won the House and uh, I hope their Senate is going to be on a knife edge which means that it can't be extreme anymore. Um, so things are looking good from that perspective um, but I also think I'm getting to be at peace with myself and uh, and also with what I've done and the way my life is and this morning uh, I'm really going to remind you about my bonfire nights when I was a kid. So uh, I came from a, a northern town called Chesterfield with lots and lots of open space and me and my sisters and family generally used to build bonfires for the over ages and ages of time collecting bits of wood and everything and we also used to build uh, out of old clothes, uh, a, a Guy Fawkes. Don't ask me where we got the old clothes from because uh, generally speaking they were our play, play clothes. But it was just like it is today. Uh, really foggy, um, sort of um, quite low really in terms of weather but the leaves had come off, you could shuffle through them, you could kick them and all of that. But one of my biggest memories is the bonfire night toffee and uh, parking. So parking is um, like an oatmeal-y cake. Uh, the recipe I, I found for it a few weeks ago was a bit extravagant. It used butter and what have you. This one's a real basic one from uh, an old cookery book of um, my mum's that I found called the Biro Cookery Book because Biro Flour used to be a big business. And I'll just run you through now the ingredients that you can see. So it's definitely treacle, that big fat, you know, black stuff. Um, there's my baking powder, Waitrose and Lidl, but truthfully I'll probably pour the Lidl into the Waitrose and pretend I go to Waitrose all the time. Uh, sugar, I'm going to use brown sugar, and then oatmeal and flour. So I'm going to uh, pause for a minute and come back in a sec when I've got everything ready, mixed up, and uh, you can see how it works. So here we are back again. Uh, Jamie Oliver makes it look so bloody easy. Um, but anyway, after a lot of faffing, I'm sorted. So. It said mix dry ingredients, so that's uh, my flour, oats and this soft dark brown sugar to give it the flavour. And uh, since I've forgotten to put a teaspoon anywhere, it's um, two teaspoons of ginger for the heat and what have you in this parking. And then the wet ingredients, which is the treacle and butter because we don't use marge these days do we and um, I'm just going to put two tablespoons of milk in that and I've just realized I'm a bit light on the butter actually I should have put four ounces because I'm doubling up this recipe so that's a couple of tablespoons of milk and you're supposed to mix the dry with the wet couple of eggs all right that's going in and that those eggshells will go in my wormery which I've just set up as well that's another story 
Right, so it's mixing up all this and then it's dry ingredients. I'm going to actually check the recipe just to make sure I've put everything in. So I've got self-raising flour, porridge oats, ginger, sugar. I didn't use caster sugar, I used that dark brown sugar. Margarine, I didn't use margarine. I always use butter these days because it's not, you know, like 1960 and I can afford it. Uh, thank God. Treacle um, and milk. So <clears throat> the only thing I've got wrong in this recipe is there isn't enough butter in it, but I'm sure I can work that one out in a minute. So then it's mixing it all up. To that sort of consistency. Oh, the other the other thing I've chucked in is um, the baking powder because I didn't have uh, self-raising flour, and as far as I know, porridge oats don't self-raise either. So I put in a couple of teaspoons of that. So we'll see if that works. So it's that sort of colour, and then I have. Uh, a pre-prepared baking tin in my best fashion which is uh, I don't know nine by nine from Wilco's and that's what I'm going to bake it in so when I've added more butter secretly I uh, don't know how I'm going to do that um, it's all going to go in this tin and bake it and then I'll show you what it looks like uh, after it's baked so I went along and <clears throat> melted a couple of um, ounces of butter in a glass and poured it in and mixed it up. So this is it now, going into the uh, pre-prepared baking tin. Oh God, you look like the tins, looks like the tins a bit big. <laughs> I'll never get this right. So next time I'll have to double up again. Uh, I'm going to bake it and it says bake for an hour but frankly I don't think there's much chance of this being baked for an hour because they end up like bonfire night burnt to a cinder. So, <clears throat> so that's it. Not enough mixture but um, I'm just doing, oh yeah, not enough, not enough stuff. Not sure whether to make a quick double up and bake yeah I think I'll do that and then uh, I'll bake it and we'll eat it later and this is my final parking I hope it tastes nicer than it looks I'm sure it will my mate Pauline's coming over so um, she can have, to have a bit and uh, we'll see memories of bonfire night and Elliot I know you'd have grown up to be an amazing man.